welcome back to STL TV Live. The fight against sexual abuse unfortunately continues and Safe Connections is a main contender in our community. In the studio with me now is Katie Flesher. Hi. Thank you for joining me today, Thank Katie. Thank you for having me. And you have such an amazing organization. Tell me about it. Sure. So Safe Connections helps survivors of domestic and sexual violence here in the St. Louis area. We've been around for almost 40 years now. Um, and we do our services through three programs, our 24-hour crisis helpline, we have individual and group therapy, and then we go out into school and do prevention with teens. You know, and tell me how the organization got started. Sure. Um, it's actually grassroots. About 40 years ago, uh, three young girls at Wash U decided there was a need on the campus to have a rape helpline. Um, so they started it in their dorm room. Um, they started the line on their own, and almost 40 years later, we now have our agency with almost 50 staff members. Wow. How yeah. much of an issue is this in our community? It's huge. Um, anywhere you go, you'll probably run into someone who has some type of experience with domestic or sexual violence. Um, it can happen at a very young age, and they still um, are experiencing trauma from it. Um, it could happen, you know, at any time they can come and, and seek our services, which are completely free to anyone that needs them. Talk me through the steps. Sure. So somebody feels the need to reach out and connect with someone and they call you, what happens? So they'll call our 24-hour crisis helpline. Um, we have someone on the line 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, they've been trained by Safe Connections so that they are confident to work the line. They know how to help. Um, sometimes people are calling just to have someone listen. And sometimes they need action steps. So uh, the folks who answer the, the helpline do a great job of kind of assessing the situation and figuring out what that person needs. Do they need just to find a safe place? We can get them resources. It's kind of a resource line. So if they need a shelter, we'll find them a shelter. If they need somewhere to take their kids or their animals, we can find them that too. If they actually need to find a therapist and they're a good fit for our agency and we're a good fit for them, we'll direct them to our assessment therapist. And from that point, they'll be hooked up with a therapist that they can see for as long as they need to. So are you saying that if someone calls you and they're in an abusive situation, that you're going to help get them out of it? Or do you tell people to get out of their situation? What do, you, what do you do? We will never tell someone exactly what to do. We pride ourselves on meeting people where they're at. So if they call and they don't know what to do, that's OK. We're going to talk them through it. We're going to ask them the necessary questions to figure out what's safe and what's best for them. Mm -hmm. And what if someone is, they're not sure? Mm -hmm. um, you know. Sometimes I, I, I know I hear that abuse blurs their sense of reality. Sure. And they don't, they don't know what's going on. Like, what do you say to somebody like that who calls you? Sure. It, it totally depends on the situation. Um, you know, our, our folks who work on the helpline, they're trained to know that they need to just listen and, and kind of take the information that they're given and move forward with that. It's handling things one step at a time. As you can imagine, with something like this, there's a lot of trauma and it's very complicated. So there's never going to be black and white. It's never going to be an easy answer. So what's great about the helpline is that they, can, they have the time to devote to the person to figure out, OK, let's take baby steps. Let's make sure you're safe today. And we'll focus on tomorrow another time. And, and that's how they do it. So then let's talk about the impact that you're making in the community doing what you do. Sure. Um, I can tell you that you know we, we received just over 5,000 calls on the helpline last year. Um, we saw, we had, I think in our prevention education, we reached about 6,500 students in the St. Louis area. Um, our prevention work, our workshops through our Project Heart program are out in almost all of the St. Louis County schools right now. So we're really, we're really trying to reach everyone and, and reaching them young is so important so that it stops the problem for future generations. You just said the word important. What's so important about the prevention workshops that you do? Sure, it's, it's so important because it needs to start young, like I said. You know, reaching these young, these young girls and boys and telling them, you know, what is okay and what's not okay. Um, so much of society right now is, is a rape culture, as you hear, um, where we're, we're telling young girls how to prevent being raped. Why aren't we telling boys not to rape? That's right. kind of where we're at. And so, um, you know, Safe Connections really works hard on making sure that we're sending those messages of, of, of safety and respect. Right. Well, I'm so glad that you're mm -hmm. here with us Thank today. Thank you. You stay tuned. We'll be right back with more STL TV Live after this.